welcome to another vlog. I'm currently fishing another lake only because on a school night I've got work tomorrow morning. Believe it or not, just on the other side of this lake. So I'll be working over there tomorrow. So it'd be, it'd be wrong not to fish this place, especially when I'm working there first thing in the morning. So my school night is on air. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather When I arrived on this lake There's only this peg available For some reason, unknown to man Everybody decided to go fishing Tonight On this lake so, I decided to do a running rig on this lake tonight. Two ounce bomb, all brown on the bottom to match the silt and the debris. Got a little big break up of there, like flex in that as well. You can, you can see that there at all. And this is just going to be fished just down the side, right down the margins. Just there, just in that area there. I put some bits and pieces down, some baits, a two foot of water, a few little lilies starting to come up. It's a beautiful lake, it's a stunning lake. So I'm gonna put the rod just in there. Slat line. Not very far out at all. Just. Back a little bit, there we go. And put a slat line in that tonight. That'll do. Move the other rod out of the way. Put that on there. Nice and quiet. Indicator on. Slat line it. Got it dropping down. Make sure I've not got a tangle in my reel. And that's where that's going. The other one is going to be going in the margins again, not too far out because I want it just nice. I'm just going to set that up now on there, switch the alarm on, press it long and that's on, that's that, let's get a bit more slacker. Let's get that slat line right down there. So when that takes off, I don't usually slat line, but I am on this occasion. The other one is going to be going just here, this area there. Not far out. A three rod lengths out, the edge of the reeds, two foot of water. It's quite hard down there. Put some bait in, and that's me set for the night. It's a stunning lake though. Look at this. Look at that. This is the shallows. And like I say, I'm going to be fishing. Not fishing, I'm going to be working in the hall. There's a hall through those trees there. I'm going to be working over there tomorrow. Happy days. Now let's see if we can catch a fish. Oh, I don't belong here. I don't care if it hurts. So on the second rod, what I'm going to use, well, to be perfectly honest, I'm just going to do a running rig. Very simple. Two ounce carder bomb. A carder running rig system. Which is there. Not sponsored by, that, by them anyway. There, and I'm going to use some Hydrolink. Quite a long hair rig on this, quite a long rig on this one as well. And I'm going to use a gardener mugger. Now, why am I using the Hydrolink? I don't know whether you know what Hydrolink is, but that's what it is. It's rigmarole Hydrolink. This is black camo, so it's ideal for like this. The soil here is quite dark, so the f 
speckles of white and the black on the hydrolink is perfect for camouflage on here. Right, you can see that there at all. Now, when you take out the inner core of the hydrolink, you're left with this mono. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving an inch gap between the hook and the end of the hydrolink. I'm going to a little bit, put a little bit of putty on there just to hold that down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to whip that off onto there and then I'll just put an air rig on there as well. Not a bad hook link hydrolink to be honest. These are the kind of little edges that I use. Put that in there, tighten that up. Need a little pulling tool on there as well to tie everything off. That's that. So I'm keeping this down to the bare minimum. That's that. It's just nice and tight. So I've got the hydrolink there. Coming down and put a bit of putty on there. So I've got the little Nash putty on. The expensive Nash putty. To be fair, it's worth the money. It's nice. It's nice to work with. I'm going to put that putty on just behind the hydrolink where the link between the mono and the hydrolink ends just pins it down a little bit and I've got the rig now I've got it kicking out as well so when you actually hook the fish or it goes in the mouth it kicks down oh, very sharp that and I'm going to fish a 20 mil bottom bait on that I'm not going to pop it up I'm going to have that as a bottom bait so I'm just going to put hair on there Make it the right size. And that's basic rig I'm going to use, nothing fancy. I'm fishing down the margins. I know it's not going to be tangled. It's quite close. And that's fit for purpose what I'm going to be doing now. Trim the excess off. And put a boiler on. This is the krill. This is Sticky Bakes krill. Again. This is going to have a 20 mil on and I'm not putting a topper on that I'm just going a 20 mil I'm going really really stealthy on that I'm just putting a little rig on it now the way I've tied this this hook and you can see that it kicks it out so if I can put something white behind there without getting my knees dirty it kicks it out. So the way I've tied that, it kicks the hook right the way out. So that's how it's going to look on the bottom. Just like that. Nice and simple. And then the running rig, push the rubber sleeve over. Nothing fancy. So I've got the Chameleon main line there from ProLogic. Corda, Rigmarole, Nash, Sticky and Gardner. A big selection of companies so that's what most people do they have a an array of different parts to tackle that they have in the kit and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing that's fine pull it back a little bit and again I'm going to be fishing flat lines on that with it being really close into the margins Make sure the line's clipped up in the line clip. Make sure you're not going all over the place. You need to service my reels, I'll tell you that much. I didn't realise I just left that one switched on. Still switched on from the last visit. Just being careful, no bat leads on there, just. Slack line. That's fine. Put that in the line clip. They're good to go. So I've got some pellet in there, so I've got some hemp. Um, some boily. All I need some patience now, and try and catch one. 
at least I've not got, got at least I've not got far to go when I go to work in the morning, pack up, load the car, drive around the other side of the lake and see the people living in the lodge. Happy days. Finally, it's warm enough so I can start seeing the fish rising as the sun starts to set. This is bite time, this is exactly the time of the day when fish start to show themselves. I love summer, I absolutely love summer. Got the time lapse on the go again, look at that. This is beautiful. Now, now, just down there, you can see some rings appearing. There's a carp feeding on the baited spot. Not far out, but there are fish feeding there. And a lot of people avoid the near margins. And now I, I get where people cast to the other side of the lake because they want to fish the opposite margin, but people always forget you've got a margin right here, right in front of you. Never neglect the margins just in front of you. You'll always get a fish there. Look at that. It's only two foot deep there. That's it, two foot deep. Hopefully we'll get a take down there. I love it. It's nice, isn't it? It is nice. Keep on watching. I don't think you can see it. I'll zoom in. I'll zoom in, see if we can zoom in. Just down there. Just off the edge of those reeds. That's where I am, just in this area here. A couple of minutes ago I did see a tail come out. So we get a fish or fish feed off that spot now and we pick one up and be an happy little bunny. It's a beautiful like this. I don't want I, I have no idea why I don't fish it as much. I really don't know. I should do really. But I've got that many nice waters to fish. I don't know which one to fish. <sighs> hey ho. God, I love it. Absolutely love it. I want a perfect body. I want a perfect soul. And I want you to notice when I'm not around. Morning. Oh, well, time to go to the next lake. Because fish have started spawning. I was getting loads of knocks through the night and I wanted to do a couple of days so I'm going to do the measure, I'm going to do my work and go to another lake. I was going to come back on here after I finished the measure, wind the rods in, do a few more hours but as a result um, if they're spawning, starting to spawn, leave them to it. That's the thing to do. Hey ho. Can't be all, can you? A shame that is. Hopefully the next water hasn't got any fish spawning. <sighs> Damn it. When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry you float like a feather in a beautiful world. I 
I wish I was special.